What's up guys, What's up 7 here bringing you an unboxing, review and range test of the Nerf Rival Chaos MXVI 4000. <laughs> The Chaos is a 40 round fully automatic blaster in the Rival series. We'll get straight onto a range test of the blaster. 12 shots fired flat in full auto, here we go. Okay, let's go see the range. So the lower shot is here at 38 feet. We got a few more here at 41 feet. One, two at 45 feet. These two are at 50 feet. This shot here is at 52 feet, and the top shot for full auto is at 57 feet. So not bad, we'll see how single shot does now. Open the trigger once for single shot now, 12 shots, 5 flat, here we go. Okay, let's go see the range. So this wall is 70 feet away from my camera and every single shot hit it. The only blast that I own that's been able to do that is the Apollo. So this isn't an accurate range test, but you can kind of gather the power this thing is having when you tap the trigger. But anyways, we'll get onto the review of the Chaos now. Onto the review of the Chaos, starting with the function of the blaster. Function the Chaos. It's exactly like a rapid strike, you just hold down the acceleration trigger and then hold down the trigger to fire each shot. It's full auto, so no uh, tapping the trigger like a strife, hold it down, for, fire all the shots. <laughs> to release the magazine, you just push down the button here and then pull out the huge mag. So how you load the magazine is a very awkward and time consuming process. So first of all, you need to pull all these four orange tabs down and then click them in these places here. like so. Then push this uh, orange tab back so the top will flip up. And then you just load the balls inside here. Once you have the magazine filled up with the 40 balls, you just uh, push the orange top down and then pull this orange button down here and the springs will uh, lock the balls into place. If you're wondering how big the magazine is, here is it compared to a Mega Centurion 6 Dart mag and the 25 round uh, drum. As you can see, it dwarfs the 6 uh, mag in size and if you know that, you know it's a huge mag. And then it's roughly the same length as a 25 dart drum but still a lot more bigger. Inserting the magazine is very awkward, it's very tricky and just a bit fidgety. But once you get the hang of it, you can do it very quickly. There is a trigger lock on the side of the blaster. You just uh, push this down, and then you cannot rev or pull the trigger of the blaster. It's only on one side, and just uh, um, unlock the trigger, you just flick it back up, and there are two very large iron sights on the blaster, which flip up and down, so you can either have them down like this, or up like this. There are two rails on the blaster, one large one on the top and a small one on the bottom. You can put Nerf accessories on these, it's just a bit fidgety because you've got to clip them on place instead of slide them. The handle is very large so it fits your hand nicely and the stock is very small but like the Zeus it's very comfortable at the same time. So the colour scheme for this one is the team blue, so it's blue with black detailings everywhere and then black everywhere, large rival. It's exactly the same for the red variant, just wherever it's blue, it's red. All the linings and details are exactly the same. The batteries are located in the top here, so you just unscrew it, then take like the rail out, and then like a box will come out. It does take 6D batteries, which are heavy and expensive. It is very easy to control how many balls you fire out. Because of the slow rate of fire, you can easily fire a single shot. <laughs> My favourite thing to do with the blaster is burst of freeze, so you just and then three shots fired off. It has a jam door on the side here, so you can unjam your shots. 
Here's the size comparison compared to the Zeus. As you can see, it's a lot bigger and a lot heavier. And this is even without the magazine. With the magazine, it makes it about twice the size. But this is the size estimate. So that's gone over all the features. I'll show you firing now. and cons of the Chaos now, starting with the pros, fully automatic, the range is really nice for a flywheel blaster, capacity is very high, very comfortable, it's got rails so you can put some grip of some assortment here, that's it for the pros, now onto the cons, it takes D batteries which are very heavy and very expensive, especially six of them, the magazine is very awkward to load in, in addition it also takes quite a while to load the mag. The rate of fire is honestly quite slow for a full auto blaster compared to a blaster like the Hyper Fire or the Rapid Strike. So overall, would I recommend the Rival Chaos? 100% yes. It's got great range, being full auto and a high capacity. This is honestly my second favourite Rival Blaster, very close after the Apollo. Uh, if you're looking for a practical one though, I'd go with the Zeus because you have mags which you can carry a ton on you. These would be very hard to store on you, it's more of a one-shot blaster and then switch to something else because it takes a while to reload. But, it's a heap of fun and I totally recommend it if you're willing to pay the price. But anyways guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.